Hi, and welcome back to Experience Inspirations. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you and welcome you. I would like to drop this one on you for free. Press your way, press your way throughout your day. Let's talk about it. Today, a time to pray. Time in prayer. We're primarily focusing on scripture, Psalms 70, which says, Oh Lord, to save me, come quickly. Lord, to help me. You know, it's a time to pray. Is any time, of course. But especially when naturally you come into a crisis, you face with fear, worry, and most are the most common times that we run to run into prayer. But prayer should be an open dialogue throughout your day. Just simply saying, thank you, Father. Just simply inviting them into the situation, especially when your stress level rises. You just want to say, Father, come be the peace and the common in this situation. Sometimes we have to dislocate ourselves and strip ourselves of every human resource. That means the telephone, the TV, the family, the children, the pets. Just dislocate and give time to him to cry out. Those are the most intimate times that you can feel that sense of calmness come over your body when you're dedicated that special time in silence to God in prayer. You know, David said in Psalm 70 and 1, we cry out with the words of David, come quickly, Lord, to help me. Don't be as David and wait till those times come out in troubles to call out for God. Yet every day, make it a simple prayer, even when it's not a crisis. And all day long, say, Lord, help me. You know, it's no, I've had the question arise to me in several times in the past and from different ages is they'll say, how do I pray? It's no Pacific way in prayer, baby. It's no Pacific way. God didn't ask us to, to be elegant with our words. He asked us to be clear. And to come to him with a pure heart. That means don't come to him when you're still angry. Try to release yourself of that when you go into prayer with him. Also, when you're talking to God, it's just like me and you talking. Treat him as if you treat. The way I've learned is I treat him as if he's my companion, my soulmate, my lover. The one I'm in a relation, intimate relationship with. That way I don't, I'm not so cautious and uptight when I talk to him. I talk to him just like I'm talking to you on this video. Father, I invite you in today. Father, if it's your will, then you let it prosper. If it's not your will, Father, give me peace and understanding where that it don't, why it didn't prosper. In all of our ways, take time each day to see prayer as a communion with the Father. When you start doing it, maybe start out as one minute. One minute could turn into two. Two could turn into three. And after a while, you'll notice that those five minutes turn into 15 and it'll turn into an hour. You're not so much babbling, but you're just pouring yourself out to him. All your worries, your concerns, your goods, your bads, your ups, your downs, the small things, the big things. Just know that he's always there. And when you go into that prayer, go into that prayer with an expectation that you're going to get an answer. Because I guarantee you, you're going to get an answer. It may not come that same day you submit that prayer. And it may not come as the way you expect it to come. But be open and, and receptive to receiving how God is going to answer that prayer. Because there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. That answer can come from the any, any source, any source. Hey, from Experience Inspirations, I love you all. Thank you all for listening. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Comment, like, and share. And when you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified each and every time a short or a post is uploaded to this channel. It's my prayer that the topic we discussed, the time in prayer, primarily focusing on Psalm 70 and David crying out, 
be an uplifting and encouragement to you or someone close to you. Until the next video, which is God Answers, I love you.